Hey, what's up, everybody? Now, I know before anybody says anything, or before I say anything, let me explain something. I have seen Ring of Honor before. Back when we were able to, and before this whole CAS, Copyright Act system, whatever you want to call it, came into play last week, and supposedly, right now, is being fought against by the demand pop progress as in people that have signed on to it, including myself, to try to prevent this, at least change it to where it won't endanger privacy, it won't endanger the internet. Uh, before all that happened, I was able to go online, online to torrents, if you will, and I was able to download, it took about a couple of days, if not a week or so, but I was able to download several of the iPay-per-views of Ring of Honor. One of the most recent, one of the ones that I downloaded, put onto a DVD ROM, and then later on put it onto DVD so I could watch it just about anywhere, I think was Glory by Armor. I'm not really sure. It was one of those pay-per-views. It was one of them. So, so anyway, so anyway, it was one of them. And I will admit, Ring of Honor is a good promotion. It's a good small promotion, independent promotion, if you will, major league independent promotion. Major independent promotion, I have to say. It's kind of like, I guess people would say, it's sort of like the ECW of this generation. But, here's the thing. Here's the thing. As much as I would love to down, go on a torrent right now and download the 11th anniversary, I can't because I'm not sure if that falls under the category of being, you know, of being pirated, which it probably does. Or it could fall under the category to where my, I could end up getting a warning or something. I'm not really sure. The, the, the fact is, folks, as much as I would like to download it, and I probably will, or unless someone finds a way to upload it onto YouTube, uh, down the line, or Daily Motion, or wherever, or Blimp TV, for people to access without no problem. Until that time comes, I'm not going to be able to see it. But what I can do is give you my thoughts on the last part of Ring of Honor's 11th anniversary. The last thing people saw. And you know, I mentioned this in several of the wrestling groups on Facebook. And it seems I'm not the only one that's not liking this whole situation. Now, I know there's a lot of Ring of Honor fans out there, and indie fans out there, and even some major WWE TNA fans out there that are kind of liking this, this new angle, this new storyline that's happening. But l let, me, let me explain something. Let me, let me explain something. You know, I know Ring of Honor is doing everything they can to get media attention. I know they are. I know Ring of Honor is doing everything they can to get worldwide exposure. I know. I know they're doing whatever it takes. But, do you seriously have to follow in the steps? Or you seriously try, but do they seriously have to try to follow in the steps, if not, try to recreate their own version of the NWO. Now, before anybody says anything, let me explain what I'm talking about. And I explained this in my TNA, in the video where I talked about TNA doing something similar. See, I understand a lot of people are going to say the NWO was, you know, this is not NWO, this is different. Really? Well, how many groups have there been that have been sort of NWO influenced? Have been influenced 
by the NWO in some ways. L l let me explain. When the NWO originally came out, they were, their goal was to take over and destroy WCW and rename it the NWO or rebrand it in their image. Storyline wise. All, this, all the groups that came after this, Main Event Mafia, same thing in some ways. They wanted to rebrand TNA in their image to where only the best champions would be featured. Same with the World Elite. Maybe not so much, but same in, same in that sense. Well, only the, uh, the elite of world, only the elite of professional wrestling is featured. Or something like that. And then you had Immortal. Immortal who wanted to basically, well, basically did take over storyline-wise, TNA, but then lost it because they were trying to rebrand it in their image, and they lost it not, not just because Sting beat Hogan in a match at Bound for Glory, but they lost control in everything, and the whole storyline was dropped because of one reason. The fans pretty much were smart enough to realize all they're looking at, all they're looking at is an NWO ripoff. Now you could say, well, people blame DX for being an NWO ripoff. Not particularly. See, DX was, you know, their own entity, but they didn't want to take over the WWE. No. I mean, yes, in the late 90s they did something to where they technically did take over. Over, but not in the sense of where they wanted to rename it. They wanted people to join. you you got to get the idea. kind of get the idea. DX was more like fun-loving, go-against-the-grain kind of individual group. You know, group. Well, not individual group, but kind of go-against-the-grain, go-against-the-system kind of group. So... When, when I heard, when I read that Scum had basically expanded, or when I heard they were expanding, and then by numbers, and then read about it in the results, and then read what Steve Carino said in his promo, to me I'm like, are you serious? Yes, this may sound good at first, but are you serious? This is nothing more than Ring of Honor's rehashing the NWO in their own version, in their own way. That this is nothing more than Ring of Honor trying their best, and I'll give them credit, I'll give them credit, trying their best to get exposure to where the major cable companies out there, the major networks out there will say, okay, we want to put Ring of Honor on our networks. And again, I can totally respect what Ring of Honor is trying to do. I can totally respect the effort they're trying to make. But you see, I'm not the only one in, in the IWC, and if not the YWC, that looks at this and says, are you serious? You, you want to grow scum into basically nothing more than an R.H. version of the NWO. Now, I know people will say, well, you had other groups in Ring of Honor, like the Embassy. Yeah, but the Embassy never wanted to take control of Ring of Honor, for, as far as I've heard. They never wanted to take total control re and rebrand re it in their image. But here's, here's what's funny, though. The members that you have the members that you have. Originally, just like with the NWO, Scum, I will admit, was best when it was just Steen, Jacobs, and Carino. Just like the NWO was at its best when it was just Hogan, Hall, and Nash. And you can add in maybe a member or two. I mean, they added in Rhino, and that was fine. But you don't have to go and do this. I know some people will say, oh, it's just for shock value. It's, it's just for shock value. You probably, some of these people are not probably full-fledged members. It's just for shock value. Really? Are you telling me the likes of Jimmy Rave, 
Cliff Compton, Matt Hardy, yeah, Matt Hardy, in case you don't know, and Rhett Titus are all just there for shock value, and then what, the next few weeks are not going to be scum members anymore? I, 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 are, you, are you seriously joking me? I mean, seriously? Are, are you joking me? Okay. First of all, first of all, let me let me put it to you like this. Again, like I said, I'll give Ring of Honor all the credit. They're trying their best to get exposure, to really get notice. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you want to get noticed, you don't do it by impersonating or doing your own version or your own take on the NWO because you should learn from history that no matter who tries to rebrand the NWO or tries to you know reintroduce it in their own vision with their own different group no matter how many times you do it in the end it's not going to work and then when you take a look at some of the members, yeah, I can understand if Scum comprised of, you know, not just Carino, Jacobs, possibly Steen. We're not too sure about that yet. Hey, that's kind of the wild card right there. Rhino, and maybe Jimmy Rave and, and Rhett Titus. I, I can understand if those guys, with the exception, with possibly Rhino as well, and the wild card being Steen, I can understand those five, I mean, I can, okay, I can understand Carino, Steen, possibly Steen, him being the wild card, Jacobs, Rhett Titus, Jimmy Ray, I can understand those five being scum members because they've been basically disrespected in their minds or misused or mishandled and held down by Ring of Honor and the wrestling business. I can understand them wanting to fight against Ring of Honor, so that Ring of Honor will finally say, fine, here's your opportunities, here's your title matches, or whatever. I can understand that. And, you know, I can understand if you want to bring in a big name here and there, like, say, Ryan well, Rhino is sort of a big name, because he's competed in ECW, TNA, and WWE. So I can understand if you want to bring him in and make him a member of SCUM. But when you bring in the likes of Compton, and Matt Hardy, Compton and I can understand also sort of in the same category as Ryan. You know, he was WWE guy, and now he's in Ring of Honor. So, you know, cause he, you know, he was a tag champion, let's face it, in WWE. So he's sort of a big name, but not as big as he should be. So he would probably be a good fit for, for Scum. But then you have Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy, a guy that competed at many WrestleManias. Competed. He is one of the best tag teams in the world. Was U.S. champion, WWE, ECW branded champion. It's like, this guy is world renowned and you want to put him in scum? What, for the name recognition? Okay, fine, I can understand that. But still, it's nothing but still, you combine that all together, folks, and it's nothing more than a take, then Ring of Honor's own take on Ring of NWO. And why did WCW create the NWO? Because they wanted to be the lead, because they wanted to really get noticed. I mean, yeah, they got noticed when they signed Hogan and Savage and all that, but they really wanted to get noticed and really wanted to show that they were a better company, and that's why they, they did the NWO. That's why they did it. And that's why Ring of Honor is doing the whole scum thing. thing. Because they wanted to show, they want to show, hey, we're the better company. We're doing this angle that no one thought we would do. I mean, but again, here's the thing: it was more effective when it was just the three of them. Okay, just like the Shield is more effective and more is a better angle in WWE than what people get credit for because it's just the three of them. It's just the three of them, and they've dominated WWE, and it's being with just being three of them. 